Mo's Garage. Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome back to Jimbo's Garage. Well, getting ready to start a pretty good sized metal project. Three gates and a 25, section, a 25 foot section of iron that's gonna be going in front of a house. Here's a load of metal I just got in today. Uh, we're gonna be using some inch and a half square tube 095 for the top and bottom rails. And this is uh, uh, 5 8 063. We're gonna be using those for the pickets. And then over here, um, over here we've got some uh, cast iron decorative inlays that are going to be going in the top section of the fence and then over here we've got some collars, uh, some 5H collars and we've got a couple hundred of these and uh, those are going to be going in the pickets themselves so overall it's going to be a pretty good sized project. I'm getting ready to get started. I got the first piece of metal up on the, up on the welding table and in the saw ready to get going. So let's get this project started. Let's go. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is get over here to the fine slugger cutoff saw and I want to cut the frame out for the first gate right here. I'm cutting everything at a 45. Uh, this is the experimental gate or the prototype if you will uh, just trying to see how everything is going to work and everything is going to go to get go together right here you got my corner vise right there from yoast you know that thing is a uh, uh, saves a lot of time with the fabrication uh clamping that thing together everything is square every single time but uh you can see i'm just taking my time putting everything together trying to figure out how it's all going to work fitting everything in once I got everything all fit up where it's supposed to go and I knew everything was nice and square, it's time to go ahead and start welding everything out, at least everything I could on the frame section right here. And I'm going to go all the way around on both sides right here. Uh, using the HTP Pro Pulse 200 right here, I've had this thing for about three weeks now and I've gotten used to it and it's really a nice machine. I'm really pleased with the way it's uh, uh, performing. After that's all done, uh, flap disc, grind all the wells all the way around, uh, everywhere I can. It is going to get some paint, and uh, we want everything to look nice and smooth. Now, these decorative pieces, I want to get in the dead center of the gate. They do have a pattern to them. You might be able to see that, and so I'm trying to get them lined up dead center, and once I figured that out, there is a little bit of trimming on each side of these uh, two pieces right here. I uh, took it right over to the uh, port of band and clipped them off and you know this port band is just a, a huge addition to my shop I, I just didn't realize how much I was going to use it when I uh, when I have it and the thing works out really well works perfect fast now there's just a couple pieces of 5 8 plywood I'm using in here to get this uh, get these decorative pieces to the middle of the frame and then I'm just tacking them in place they provide a, a little welding tab if you can uh, those decorative pieces and I just uh, welded them in those spots only and held it in place. These are the pickets right here. Um, I'm only cutting three at a time. You know, I've cut more, but uh, it's a nice <laughs> three at a time is plenty good. And you can see I'm putting these collars on right here. We're going two, one, two, one, two, one with the collars. And uh, that's the way that we're going to do it. I just spread them out a little bit to hold them in place. Now, the way to get started on a gate section or a fence section is put the picket dead center in the center of that and then work your way out on both sides. At least that's the way I do it. Now, this happened to work out perfectly with uh, 2 by 4 uh, It's 2 and 5 eighths, basically, and that worked out really good all the way out to the very end. There might have been an eighth of an inch difference right there, but no big deal. Nobody's ever going to see that. And I just repeated the same thing on the other side. And then right here, you can see I'm just using a... a a spacer block uh, to weld those collars in a nice orderly fashion right in a row right there it makes it for fast fabrication right here when you're doing a lot of this stuff you got to figure out the easy ways to do things right here just repeated the same thing on uh, that side right there now for the end post right here um, these are the posts that are going to be mounted to the block wall that's going to be supporting uh, uh, or at least it's going to be latching uh, the gate to. Um, I just want to put a nice solid piece around the top. So I've got a piece of flat bar stock right here, and I'm using this uh, strong hand uh, mag tab to hold them in place. I've got several different sizes of these things, they work really good. Just welding it out all the way around. 
And then this is just the side panel right here. So both side panels are different sizes for each gate on each side of the house. This just happens to be the one right here. And, and uh, it's basically the same process that we use for the gate. Um, square everything up, tack everything into position. And once everything is in position and, and tacked in, you just move forward right here. Now here, I made a mistake. I'm always in a hurry, going really super fast. You can see there's the pickets. I welded them in, turn around. Welded him in right here, but wait a second. What about the collars? All right, there's a mistake. No big deal. This only took about two or three minutes. I got my grinder with a cutoff wheel and cut through uh, one side right there, lifted it up, and I had to do a little bit of grinding on the on the weld right there. Once I did that, slipped the collars on, welded them back in, and we we're back in business. That whole that whole process just took really a few minutes. So. Yeah, you, know, you do make mistakes, uh, but overcome them very quickly and move forward. Once I got everything all tacked into place um, and I knew everything was nice and square, then it was time to start welding everything out. And this is just a process that um, that you got to do all the way around everything. And I just put a weld on each side of those collars on one side, and I figured that's that that's just enough, and that's all I really needed to do. Then the pickets, of course, they get welded out all the way around both sides. You see a lot of these uh, uh, gate sections from the big box stores. They just have uh, one side on each side just tacked up and allows for a lot of rust pockets in there. But once everything is all welded out all the way around again, you grind everything down nice and flat. <clears throat> now this is, the, this is the bigger section of the either the gate or the fence section. You can see how uh, to make things go really fast, um, I tipped it up on end so I can really get these welds going uh, really good so okay so moving right along with the project as you guys can see I got the first gate complete and uh, it was done at least I thought it was done and I got the frame of the second gate uh, built just the frame mind you then I got a call from the homeowner he thought it would be a great idea if they put some if we put some security screen behind the two gates on each side of the house. Uh, if you guys don't know what that is, it's a really fine 16th of an inch fine mesh screen. It provides uh, security, uh, privacy I should say, so you can't really see what's going on uh, in the backyard. But if you're in the backyard, you can actually see uh, through the screen coming out the other way. It's actually pretty cool. Uh, so I said, you know, that, all right, let's go ahead and do it even though I had the gate done. So uh, when I looked at it, I thought it'll be easy enough I should be able to get my cutoff, my grinder with a cutoff wheel and cut half of the collars off on the back side to allow that screen to fit right in there flush. It didn't take me too long to figure out the best way to do it was to cut the pickets completely out, all the way out, and have a start over fresh. And then the thing to do is to cut new pickets and weld those pickets flush to the back side of the frame so then I can cut the screen that's going to rest on the frame itself on the back side, put some uh, flat bar strock around that perimeter, welded in place, and then some self-tapping screws through the pickets to the screen on the back side. That's what's going to hold it. That's all good and everything. That was the plan. However, um, the collars right here are, as you can see, they're all the way around. And in order for me to do this, I need to cut these collars in half because you're only going to see the front side of the collar when the pickets are here and it's flush to the back and the screen's got to fit on. Not a problem. Went over to the bandsaw, started cutting. I was able to get two or three of them cut pretty good, but then there's a couple of them that just wouldn't cut at all. So this material or this stuff right here is a mix of all different kinds of things I figured out. Uh, some of it's cast, uh, <coughs> cast iron, some of it is just metal, and some of it is obviously some sort of hardened metal. It wouldn't even cut this stuff at all. So um, I thought it was an issue with my bandsaw. I changed the blade. Uh, that did nothing, so that was not a problem. So I realized, okay, I'm not doing this. I had to go down back down to the metal supply store where I purchased all this stuff, which is about 30 miles away in traffic, mind you. Uh, took me about an hour and a half to get there, an hour and a half to get back to get these. These are the collars cut in half. And this is what it's going to take to weld these on, to be flush the picket so I can get the screen on the back. So ultimately, that's what I did. I got the gate done and complete. After two days and several hours, I've got the gate that we originally had done, done now, and moving forward to the second gate 
and I think it's a pretty interesting process. So I'm going to show you guys how we're going to get the second gate done and done right. All right, let's get started. All right, so once I figured everything out that we needed to make the changes with the first gate, uh, that took some time, and I had to cut everything out, all the pickets out, and re-weld everything back in, um, and and so I was able to put the uh, privacy screen flush to the back. Got all that done and taken care of. The second gate right here is basically the same process. Uh, you can see um, I'm just finishing up here, finishing the welding out, cutting out the decorative pieces. But I wanted to show you uh, the difference in the, the gate section and the fence section after I welded all this in. I'm starting to do the pickets right here. And the pickets need to be flush to one side of the of the gate itself um, you know bringing them up to the very top right there so allows for that screen to fit flush on there and that's what I had to do that was the that was the major change that we had to do I'm just glad I was able to catch this uh, uh, before I was too far in on this second gate right here but got everything all welded in flush um, and then finished all the welding out before it's time to take a break Okay, so we've been uh, going pretty hard all day working on the gate project. Uh, here it is right here. And uh, I'm going to be taking, uh, starting up again and uh, putting the collars on and then putting the screen on the back uh, uh, of the gate here and getting this one all finished up. But before we do that, uh, it's time to take a little bit of a break. And so I've uh, fired up the little Jimbo's Garage barbecue right here. And uh, got me a tri-tip on there and some jalapeno poppers. So uh, we'll come back to that in a little bit, but uh, for now, we're going to take a little bit of a break, if you know what I mean, been going pretty hard. All right, so once the break was over, yeah, it's time to put these little half collars on. Now, these things are pretty cool, I got to say. Um, pretty simple, though, Same, basically the same thing. You can see I'm just using a spacer block right here actually a spacer piece of metal, not a block, um, to get all the uh, collars welded in position. Now here's the uh, privacy screen right here. And I found the best way to cut this is with a thin cutoff blade on my uh, angle grinder. That seemed to work best with the plywood backing right here. A little smoky, but uh, anyway, good way to get it done. It worked out good. All right, so, so this uh, privacy screen is going over the top. Now, I allowed a half inch uh, wider all the way around the frame. You can see I'm using this eighth inch by three quarter inch flat bar stock. I use that all the way around all the clamps. It's always nice to have a lot of clamps handy. You can see that uh, this out worked out really good. Little spot wells, one inch long, six inches apart all the way around. Now, I couldn't get my fat fingers in my little screw tray right here to grab these... Uh, self-tapping screws this little magnet worked out pretty good now I just sit and marked everything uh, on the back of the screen to give some sort of a pattern with these self-tapping screws so it uh, looked uniform now these things are only about a half inch long but, uh, worked out really good and I'm pleased the way that uh, this turned out looked good now there's the two gates right there and the side panel is complete eh, worked out pretty good all right, so now it's time to move on to the three panels, um, fencing, uh, fence panels. These things are eight feet long, five feet tall. Um, here's a corner vise, and you can see that it's kind of kind of big for me to get squared away on my welding table. It's just not enough room, so I had to use my shop table plus my workbench over there to get everything uh, nice and square. And that's the key. Everything has got to be nice and square and nice and level when you're, when you're fabricating this stuff together. So this is uh, the way it worked out. Pretty good. Again, the pickets and the collars. Again, this is all repetitive stuff. I, I know it's, it seems like the same same thing over and over, but um, I just wanted to give you guys, we're going to go through this gate section here pretty quick. There's three of them that I got to build. And, and uh, you know, it was fun doing this. I, I got to say this project was probably a little bit monotonous for me. I, I, I like things that are a little bit more quicker, but... Uh, uh, where I can get it done in just a couple of uh, days, one day or a couple of days. It, uh, this uh, this uh, took me about a week or so, a little bit more than a week to get all this done. So it's all good. I got a little lazy right here at the end. You can see me just welding these things on and, and I'm hanging over the other end right there. But uh, anyways, it's still the same thing. Here's the spacers. Everything is going in really quick and it's all about fabrication. There it is. One, two, three panels all complete. And here it is, we're installing it, and I got the HTP MIG-130 on site. 
and that thing worked out really well for uh, uh, portable welding. I'm really pleased the way this turned out. Everything lined up and worked out really good and was right on the money. Uh, all three gate sections, uh, the two side gates, and uh, the main gate. Everything has worked out really good. Another, another job well done. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe for more videos. See you next time on Jimbo's Garage.